Welcome to a special Meditation for the Earth, hosted by the Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual Organization in honor of Earth Day. Fifty-two years after 20 million people participated in the first Earth Day, on April 22, 1970 in New York, more than 190 countries now mark the annual day for raising awareness about the environment and the stakes have only grown higher as the years have gone by. The Brahma Kumaris have participated in both national and international environmental initiatives for decades. As a prelude to our meditation, let's listen to Sister Genti, additional administrative head of the Brahma Kumaris, as she shares her thoughts on the root causes of the environmental crisis and how we can restore both our inner and outer ecosystems. Following Sister Genti's remarks, we'll proceed right into meditation. Thank you for helping to strengthen the environment with the power of your thoughts today and every day. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, a greeting of peace to all my sisters and my brothers. Nature has served us from the beginning of time with such great love and abundance sharing all her beauty, all her gifts and her treasures with the whole of humanity. And then somewhere along the line, the relationship between nature and all of us human beings went a little bit askew. And something that went wrong has now come to this point where it feels as if we are exploiting nature, but also nature is now retaliating and fighting back with a huge amount of force and destruction. So what went wrong? May I suggest that it was just one thing. It was loss of respect. We forgot our own identity, our own inner being. We forgot respecting ourselves. We forgot about respecting each other. We forgot about respecting the laws of nature and instead thought that nature was a resource that was limitless that we could draw from. And so exploitation happened, consumerism happened. It's time now to come back to that essential awareness of who we are and how happiness doesn't come from consumerism or materialism. Happiness is within. And when we can see each other with that dignity and respect, treat nature with dignity, that imbalance will again be put right and we can again have a beautiful relationship with nature that's filled with love, respect and dignity again. Thank you. <laughs> 